Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, who you ignorantly call God. His name is Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the world and the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth to you. I say Shalom. Okay, I'm going to do a, uh, on this lesson, I'm going to profile this video with these Jakes. All right, they're evicted and they're living in their car during this pandemic. All right, and the title of this lesson is going to be Beginning of Sorrows, Harder Times Ahead. All right, and what they're going through right now is just a, 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 a small, uh, really, it's nothing compared to what's going to happen to you Jakes here in America. All right, because judgment is going to begin at, at, uh, at the house of Jacob, all right? which are you Israelites, all right, the house of the Most High, okay, so, hey, you're going to see Jake start to catch hell out here, okay, and, you know, it's only one, it's only one, one way you can turn to, um, to, 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 for, for really, for, for, um, for, give you a peace of mind, give you a piece of, um, not a piece, a, uh, a sense of hope, okay, and that's to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, all right, it, and, these are the beginning of sorrows, like Yahweh Shai spoke of in Matthew 24th chapter. All right, where you're going to see our people out here, you know, you know, homeless, uh, 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 famished, all right, you know, starving, all right, you know, they they may even, you know, catch some form of a type of pestilence, all right, whether it be the C19 or or this new mutation or some new type of virus. Okay, these are the beginning of sorrows, and this is just a a a, a preview. Okay, a, a trailer of what's going to take place, you know, and this is, you know, excuse me, 2020 was a, you know, was, was, was cold, all right, but it's nothing compared to what's coming, all right, because these are the beginning of plagues, all right, plagues are going to, you know, overtake America and other parts of the world, all right, until this place is completely destroyed, all right, the, the, um, the morality in this place is already going down, okay, the, 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 um, the, you can see the uncertainty, uncertainty on people's faces. All right, they don't know what 2021 uh, in, in, uh, is going to bring. All right, they they're optimistic that it's going to bring something that's uh, you know uh, um, positive and, and you know uplifting and you know everything's going to turn around. But that's that's not the reality. All right, so I'm gonna play this video and you know a little little part of this video. I'm gonna pull some precepts and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect. All right, let me see. We have been evicted for 19 days in the pandemic, so we've been living homeless and since. Your socks wet. Okay. Are you I don't know. I just put it some type of way where I just actually be enough comfortable where I feel like I'm in in the bed or something. When I wake up in the morning, I, I'm yeah. sitting in the front seat of my car. Realization sets in. Okay. We've been out here all night long. It don't have to be like that. We tried our best to do our part, and the landlord didn't want to um, compromise with it. And he said the landlord, you know, they more than likely went to court with the landlord, and the landlord wouldn't compromise him. Okay, and I'm pretty sure the landlord's probably an Edomite, all right, because, or, or a heathen, because our people, you know, even though they, they we our people are off, you know, they go off, you know, they ain't right, but we still somehow, some way, have a heart for uh, our people. You know, even we are, even though it, it's we have a heart for the heathen, even the heathen nations, the Edomites. All right, our people, Jake ain't gonna throw nobody out like that, knowing they ain't got nowhere to go. Okay, the scriptures clearly uh, 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 speak on that. Okay, let me grab this um, scripture real quick. I'm gonna jump back, play a little bit more of the video. This is the Book of Proverbs, chapter um, 22 and verse 27. It says, if thou has nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? All right. If you have nothing to pay, you know, it's, 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 it's not um, righteous to take uh, uh, someone's uh, bed from under them. All right. Their, their, their living quarters, their, their house. OK. All right. You, you, you're you supposed to give them opportunity, you know, in a righteous society, give them opportunity to uh, uh, work for you, to work for uh, uh, to work for that roof over their head. Okay, but we're living in a wicked society where hey, Esau wants they shit now. Esau's not giving you no chances. All right, and this moratorium, um, eviction moratorium, is is up in certain states. 
all right, where they're not, you know, these these landlords are going to court to fight these um, these evictions, okay? And they're throwing these people out, even though they're not trying to work with you, all right, obviously. All right, so let me play a little bit more. John and Margaret Eady have been living out of their car since they were evicted from their home on September 29th. They said they were unable to make rent after John's hours were reduced at his trucking job. And we was comfortable. Then here come Mr. Pandemic. He said we were comfortable. Never, you never want to get comfortable. How are you comfortable in 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 uh, captivity? All right, hey, you Israelites out there, you never want to get comfortable. Never see yourself comfortable. Like you know, oh, I'm straight. You know, I got this. My my, I got I get paid every every other week. I'm, I got the, you know, hey, don't never get comfortable. Always know that, hey, just like that. Your life can be changed, all right? And that's exactly what happened to these Jakes right here, all right? They were, they, she just said that they were comfortable, okay? You got to be willing to lose it all, all right? And, and, and the Lord's going to provide for you. The Lord is, is not going to leave his servants out there to starve and, ha and not have shelter, okay? For those that, that serve him in, in truth and sincerity, all right? Everything just went from comfortable to uncomfortable. Real and hey, you Jakes out there, you got to be prepared to take, be, be be prepared to deal with that. Going from comfortable to uncomfortable real fast, okay. But at the end of the day, who you got to understand who's in control? Who's in control of everything? The Most High, okay. So the Most High is putting you in a position to be uncomfortable. It's for a reason. It's to build up your faith. He wants you to call on Him in your time of need, in your time of trouble. All right, not depend on Esau. Okay, because the Most High, at the end of the day, if you're if you're truthful and sincere in your heart, He's gonna make a way and find a way for you to uh, um, to have a roof over your head, to have food in your mouth. All right, for you to provide for your family. Okay, let me give the scripture real quick. Um, the Book of Hebrews, uh, four. No, 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 so I get, uh, uh, uh. Anything you think is five. Shit, so lucky. I think it's Hebrews five. Real quick, real quick. Let me grab the scripture. Hebrews 6 and 10. It's Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So the Most High, if you're true and sincere, the Most High is not going to forget about the, uh, uh, the, the the work that you've done. Okay? The the, the um, confessing his name. All right? Call on his name when your time of need and your time of trouble. All right? This is me, Margaret Edie, and my husband, John. We're being evicted. We just needed a little bit more time in August, and we could have gave her her money. We don't, like, right now have nowhere to live. We're going to be out homeless. So I did everything that I was supposed to do. I tried to go through the declaration, um, the, the CDC moratorium, and um, she won. So this is where we ended up at. Your destination is on the right. So you you understand the video. I'll, I'll put the video in the description. But hey, this is the harsh reality. What's going to take place to majority of our people here in America? All right. You know they may not get evicted, but they're going to be stuck with some hard times. All right. They they they're going to go without food. They're going to go without shelter. All right. And a lot of them, the two thirds of them, you know, they 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 didn't hearken unto the truth. They didn't hearken unto the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay, they depended on Esau. They were trying to save their life here in America or wherever they dwell in this in this world. All right. Um, so let me get a few scriptures. Um, I wanted to get because that's what hey, you know, that's what Jake gets. You know, sometimes man, trying to trying to be comfortable here in America. All right, it's it's 
where you, man, you should never try to be comfortable. We can never be comfortable here in uh, in Babylon. I don't give a shit if you're rich and you got money, all right? You're doing something to try to maintain that lifestyle that you have, all right? We can't just sit back. We can never sit back and just kick up our feet and be relaxed and be comfortable, all right? That'll never happen in this place, all right? So you jakes better get it out your mind, man. You We are always... We a hey, we're always on the grind, always trying to try, trying to make ends meet. All right, whether you you know those those people that got money that you think got money and rich, hey, they got to still go to work. All right, the Jay Zs they still got to go to work and work for somebody. These Edomites don't got to do shit. They sit back and they make money while they sleep. We don't got we don't have opportunities like that because this is not our rest, like the scripture says in Micah two and ten. All right, let me grab this Ecclesiasticus in the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus chapter eleven and fourteen. It reads, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. All right. Those come from the Heavenly Father. All right. Prosperity, adversity, life and death, po poverty and riches come from the Lord. All right. Come of the Lord. All right. Prosperity and adversity. All right. If the Lord wanted us to prosper, we would prosper. But we're in a, ad in a time of adversity right now. Okay. Life and death, poverty and riches. All right. Our people are, we've been in poverty. Are we? we don't have any riches. All right, this is not our rest, like the scripture says. Let me grab it. I just quoted it, but let me grab it. Micah 2 and 10. And it reads, Arise and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. All right? So our people are destroyed for believing in this place. Okay? They, you know, like this Jake said, he was comfortable, and then he became uncomfortable. Okay? Don't, you never want to get comfortable here. All right? I mean, this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of our people getting jacked up. All right. The, the, the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of pain, the beginning of anguish. All right. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 49. I will send plagues upon you, upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword and pestilence and waste thy houses with destruction and death. Okay, those are coming from the heavenly father. Plagues. All right. This 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 C-19 is a form of a plague. It's a plague. Widowhood, poverty. All right. Our people are impoverished right now. All right. Famine. OK. Don't think if they don't got uh, barely could have provide a roof over their head. They can't provide a roof over their head. They're living in the car. Don't think that they have, you know, funds for food. I'm pretty sure that they they bellies is growling right now. OK. You know, and, and this, this, this is our people, Jake. You know, they got here getting jacked up. OK. You know, I hate to see our people like this, but hey, you know, shit, they got to learn the hard way. Jake has to learn the hard way. It ain't no. You know, it, it's you can go through the straight gate, which is the degree of difficulty, or or you can follow the uh, broad way, which is going to lead you to destruction. Both ways are hard. Okay, the straight gate is harder than the broad, obviously, but that straight gate is that that way to salvation, that, that the kingdom. All right, where the Most High is going to uh, uh is is go, you're going to be comforted by these scriptures, by the um by the names of the Lord. All right, uh, actually, let me grab that real quick. Uh, because the name of the Lord is comforting. If, they, if these Jakes had the name of the Lord, man, they wouldn't be tripping on none of that shit, man. They wouldn't be tripping on. They'd be rejoicing right now that they're that they're catching hell. All right, in the name of Yahweh Shai. Um, let me see. I'm, let me see. I think it's. Uh, I think I'm in the right chapter. Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and it's safe all right hey the name of the lord is a strong you just got to call on the name all right in the name of yahweh you know uh uh the the you know protect me from demons all right protect me from all these calamities that may come my way you know uh, uh guide me in the spirit that whatever uh judgment is brought forth to me i'll be able to handle okay hey you got to pray for those things you're going to be straight in that day all right these jakes right here they should man if they if they had the name of the lord they would be straight they would they they wouldn't be tripping. They wouldn't be worried about shit. They were like, hey, if we gotta if we gotta um you know bum it out in this car, you know, hey, we put our trust in the Lord, okay. But our people don't have faith. All right, they lack faith. They they lack faith and they lack wisdom, okay. And faith is a gift. The faith is a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Everyone don't have faith, all right. And everyone's faith is going to be tested. Whether you have faith in the Lord, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. <laughs> you know, if you got faith in any other thing, any other any other power than that, you're gonna you're through. This is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is a gift of the Most High. It's a gift of the Heavenly Father. All right? It's not of us. 
All right, the faith that the Heavenly Father gives us is from the Most High. All right, I said these are the beginning of sorrows, sorrow and pain. All right, to come amongst you Israelites, you you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen and verse eighteen. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evil. What shall I do when these evils shall come? All right, this is the prophet Ezra's action because he saw the vision of this stuff. He saw the vision of people getting evicted, people uh, homeless, people's houses being uh, 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 ransacked. All right, the, he's you know the, the the troops and the uprising. He saw all this. What shall I do when these evils come? Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So all these things happening to our people: evictions, famine. All right, our people dying off. A uh, 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 C nineteen, you know, uh, whatever Esau's putting out there. All right. It's it's a, a scorch for amendment for you to get right, all right, for you to un, for you to really check yourself and you know say, damn, what am I doing wrong, all right, you know, I've been calling on Jesus Christ all this time and he ain't fucking with me, all right, he ain't he ain't saving me, he's not delivering me, all right, I better try something else. Let me let me let me uh, uh, uh um you know see what these Hebrew Israelites are talking about. Let me listen to the truth, all right, and if the Heavenly Father is dealing with you, he'll open your eyes up to this knowledge and wisdom and understanding and and you can come into the truth you'll, you'll your eyes will be open you'll, you'll be revived and you'll see the light all right you'll start to get that breath and and, and you'll come in you know you'll, you'll, your eyes will be open and you can see why you're getting jacked up and when you when you see why you're getting jacked up you know then you can understand uh that when you see when you're getting jacked up you man you see everything that much clearly all right. You repent. All right. You won't go into that same path and, and make the same mistakes you made once, maybe four, because you understand you fear the Lord. You know, this is uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I read 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges or everything that's going on. You they, Jake is still not going to get right. All right. I, hey, you know, maybe these Jake's find a camp out in VA and, 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 and repent. All right. And call in the name. OK, and, and, and they'll, you know, they'll they'll be saved and be able to, you know, but at the end of the day, it ain't up to it ain't up to them. It's up to the Lord to open their eyes. You know, maybe they just driving by a camp and, you know, say, shit, let me see what these brothers is talking about and and come into the truth or, 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 you know, because that's when Jake is going to need it the most. You know, when they're going through these hard times. All right. When they when they catch in hell, they're going to say, man, you know, they're going. I'm pretty sure these Jake's is praying like a, like a mug. All right. But who are they calling on? At the end of the day, they if they call it on Yahweh by Shema or Shai, they're gonna be all right. But if they call it on Jesus Christ and Allah or any other deity, they're off. All right, and the Most High is gonna keep jacking them up. All right. Um, let's see, because we clearly need a savior, man. We we clearly need. All right, it, it's it's man, it's, it's gonna be more evident in these last days we're living in than any time ever that Israel, Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We need a savior, all right? We need to be saved from our enemies, all right? From the, our, 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 even from ourselves sometimes because the, 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 the lust of the flesh and the, the, the temptation that we had to deal with here is, is, is tough, but that's why you have the Lord to lean on, all right? The Lord is our crutch, all right? Um, let me get this in the book of Baruch. Um, this is the book of Baruch, chapter uh, 2, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, therefore, the Lord have made good his made good his word, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judged Israel against our kings and against our princes and against the men of Israel and Judah to bring upon us great plagues such as never happened under the whole heaven. And it came to pass in Jerusalem, according to the things that were written in the law of Moses. All right. And the heavenly Father is bringing upon um, amongst us upon among us great plagues, okay? And, and this is and this is one of them. You know, the plague of poverty, the plague of famine, the plague of pestilence, okay? The the the, the you know everything, everything that we put our hand to. The the plagues that are written in the book of Deuteronomy, the twenty uh, eighth chapter. All those things are happening to us, or have happened to us, and are continuing to happen to us because we haven't turned from our wickedness. All right. Um, we, we haven't turned to the Heavenly Father. Um, let me grab this scripture in Hosea chapter 4. And let me see. I think it's 2. I think it's 3. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me see. Maybe it's 2. Let's see. Let's 
six. Type in there. Oh, here it is, five. So like you. This Hosea five and fifteen. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offenses and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Okay, the Lord has returned to his face. He's, he's showing his face now to his, 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 the men of the Lord, his elect, all right, the hopeful elect out there. Okay, but hey, it's some elect out there that have to be sealed, the one third of Israel. And hey, you got to seek his face, all right? You got to seek his prophets, seek his, seek this word. In their affliction, they will seek me early, all right? And, and our people are, you know, lightly being afflicted right now through the things that are going on, but they ain't really, it hasn't really hit Jake to uh, 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 the, the reality. All right. You know, hey, they've been hit with reality. Like, yo, this is this is effed up. OK. You know what we're going through. All right. But hey, the majority of Israel, they ain't hit with that reality yet where they, they haven't been afflicted yet. OK. They still some of them still got jobs. They still have, you know, car and house and, you know, they're able to go to the grocery store and buy, you know, a grocery for their family. When those those four things I just named are taken away. All right. That's when. They're going to seek the Heavenly Father. That's when they're going to seek the prophets. All right. And for a lot of them, it's going to be too late. The prophet's going to be off the street. Okay. It's going to be martial law out here. It's going to be lockdowns. All right. More lockdowns, serious lockdowns. And, you know, you're going to be left out there. You're going to be, you're, you're going to succumb to your own wicked devices. All right. Um, let me grab this. First Peter 4 and verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? The house of the Most High is you Israelites. So judgment must begin at us, all right? Of course, the Edomites are going to get jacked up. They're going to get theirs. The heathen nations, they're going to get theirs. But you Israelites got to get jacked up first, all right? It's going to begin at the house of the Most High, okay? So, hey, this is, a, this is, this is, this is the future right here for a lot of you Jakes, man. You know, yeah, and and this is light work, okay? Cause shit, say they didn't own they say they didn't own their car, and they the the people came and repoed their car. They are out there with nothing, all right. They're probably trying to go to a shelter or something. At least they got their car, okay. Got one last scripture. This is the book of Second Samuel, chapter um, actually, let me see twenty two and four. I will call on the Lord Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. All right, we need a savior, all right? We gotta call on the Heavenly Father. All right, that's the first thing, all right? And then you can get into the law and, and, and the prophecies and, and the Lord. And you know, if you're diligent and you're sincere, the Lord will give you that increase. But first, we gotta call on the name, in the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, that's where it starts. Okay, I, hey, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like I said, these Jakes are calling on the Heavenly Father. They didn't know no prophecies. You know, they knew a little bit about the law. The Lord would sup with them and, and open their eyes and, and give them, it would give, they, would, they probably wouldn't be at a peace of mind, but they would give them a, 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 a little bit of, you know, a little bit of hope and, and faith. And that's all you need. They said faith of a, a mustard seed. Okay. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I want to give... All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.